coldest golf outing of the season greets the six teams competing in the DVC Championship Tournament at Carillon Golf Course in Plainfield. DeKalb is the host school this year and battling Wobanzi Valley for the DVC plaque at the end of the regular season. Carillon is made up of three nine-hole courses. After playing the first nine on the red course, we move to the second hole of the white course for the back nine. Arjun Veyas with the tough chip from the soggy fringe to set himself up for par. Veyas leads all Mustangs with a plus three, 75 on the day. Same hole in Naperville Central's Jack Bush saves par with a friendly roll. The Red Hawk can't help but smile as his round of 81 is tops on the team. Will Troy takes us to the par three third hole. The Warrior senior looks ready for the postseason with shots like this leading to an easy par. Matia Valley number one Amon Shah struggled a bit on the back nine after a strong start. This drive is one of his best of the day, landing a few feet from the pin. Dekel with the strong conference season led by top golfer Jack Pegtow, who converts on the birdie putt on the third hole. He goes two under for a 71 to lead the bars. Nikwa Valley getting a strong team effort to stay near the top for the tournament leaderboard. Last year's Lone State qualifier Matt Newman with a nice approach shot that finds the green on seven. Wabonzi Valley with a balanced effort across the board. Kenton Esch sinks this lengthy birdie putt, helping him to a 79 on the day. Nikwa with a great effort from its number one as Alex Cross chips it close on the seventh hole. Cross leads the Wildcats and finishes fourth overall with an even round of 72. The seventh hole is very kind to Naperville North on this day. Dan Boscarino hits the long birdie. Then a few minutes later, Parker Mullen gets a birdie to go from even further. Gotta be over 25 feet. Mullen leads the Huskies with a 78 as the team finishes in fourth place in the tournament. On the ninth hole, par five, Andrew Lim ends his day with a par save to end the tournament with an 84. Dan Boscarino ends his day on a strong note with a tough putt for Eagle on the ninth hole. His 36 on the back nine is tied for his second best in the tourney. Wabonzi Valley looks to lock up a second straight conference title as Jacob Fritz goes for the long Eagle putt. It stays just a hair right. Fritz finishes from there for birdie with a one under 71 and a third place medal. Will Troy catches fire on the back nine, finishing with three birdies and an eagle for a brilliant five under round of 67. The Warriors hold off DeKalb to win the tournament and the season title. Nikwa Valley takes second on the day while the Barbs take second in the season standings. I mean, I hit the ball. I didn't really hit anything super close. I just made some putts at the right time and I didn't really get myself out of position. I only made one bogey the whole day. Yeah, I think it's a big confidence booster seeing it's like how the whole season we were we were coming up short and just about everything. So I think it just gives everybody the confidence knowing we can go low and uh, hopefully go down to state this year as a team. Well, I mean, shooting our best round of the season at conference to start off our postseason is obviously the, probably the best thing that could happen to us. So, I mean, I think all the guys are really confident. We're really excited to uh, play in the postseason and see what happens. Uh, we feel really good. It's a uh, it's very promising heading into uh, regionals and sectionals, so we're hoping to make a good run in the next couple weeks. Knowing that we put up our best score of the year in the worst conditions of the year is even more encouraging. So, I mean, I'm really looking forward to see what we can do moving forward, especially, uh, you know, regional sectionals being the bad weather that normally comes with that living in Illinois. But, I mean, I'm really, really excited for the rest.